This local singer-songwriter was part of last year's Music in the Park lineup. Since that time, Hannah Beck has performed at venues large and small in areas all throughout the United States, including Wisconsin. Matt Finkel caught up with her. That's right, Andy. It's already been an exciting year for Hannah Beck. The local musician just released her third album last month, and it's a bit of a change from her first two. Working with a new producer and going after a different sound, Beck is reaching a wide audience and getting rave reviews. What is written on you? That's the question Hannah asks, and the sixth song EP shows Beck's personal journey of growth and evolution. I thought I was over you. My first album, um, the EP that we did, was a collection of just some things that I had written, and I was 16 at the time, you know. And then when we came back the next year, we brought in a, a little bit of a different view on things. It really was after that I really start to feel my heart turning from simply just worship or um, inspirational songs to writing music that really reaches people. The goal is not necessarily to just stay within the doors of the church, but ultimately get beyond that, get to people who wouldn't normally be turning on Christian radio, find the people who, who are really struggling, who are broken, who feel like they're alone in whatever they're going through, and just show them that, that there are other people out there, that there is hope and they're not alone. As it says in scripture, Jesus went to those who were, were despised, the sinners, the people nobody really wanted to be around. And that's kind of who I want to get the album to. And that came through the two years, I mean, a lot changed. Getting married, just getting eye-opening experience, all of that set it off to make this album different. The album was recorded in Studio City, California and produced by Nathan Walters, who collaborated with Hannah to deliver a dramatic sound to go along with her edgy vocals. To fund the album, Beck raised money through a Kickstarter campaign and was blown away by the support. It's very humbling to have people jumping on board. It's just an incredible feeling to know that somebody believes in you that much. It does, did also put, make me feel like I had a lot of pressure though because I really felt a huge responsibility to give them something back that they could appreciate and enjoy. With the music released, Hannah has begun to tour and perform live. In July, she traveled to Kentucky for the Ichthys Festival and followed that up by winning the Sunshine Music Festival Tournament in Wisconsin, beating out unsigned artists from across the country. When I won the music tournament, I really was surprised because I had got myself into my own little world up there on stage and I, I didn't really expect it because there's, there's genres here who are everything from rap to punk rock and then you have me who is kind of the anomaly because there, there was no other single solo female. It was surprising and super exciting because it was like all of this work, this nine and a half hour drive, it just became something. Now she enters a pool of other festival winners for a chance to tour at 28 Christian music festivals in 2016. And most importantly to Hannah, the music is resonating. This is such a new approach. I was honestly really nervous, like I had a knot in my stomach for a while, like people are expecting me to be the worship, the kind of singer, but we're going to come out with this and the sound is different and the lyrically it's different. It approaches life differently. Just seeing how everywhere we go, everyone is like, oh my goodness, this is awesome. That means that they're catching the vision. What about me? I seem to be lost in a house full of mirrors, house made of cards. The future is bright for Beck, and she's excited for whatever it brings. You want to keep bringing music that impacts people, and I definitely feel like this set of six songs were carefully selected and have already served their purpose. For now, we're just plugging away and continuing to do what we've always done. You push me. Hannah will be performing at Wayne Stock at Skip Bachman Stadium in St. Mary's on August 22nd. It's her third time singing at the event, and she can't wait to share her new sound with the growing audience. Jennifer?